Well, hello and welcome. I've got a pretty cool IB style geometry problem here. Let's read the question. Give it a shot. Hang out together, do some math, have a good time. Are you ready? All right, so let's read it carefully. Alex has been commissioned to create an art sculpture using 50 cylindrical bars of metal with a lengthways wedge cut out. Each piece will have a length of 3.8 meters and a radius of 12.6 centimeters as illustrated in the following diagram where O indicates the center of the circular cross section. I love how the British spell center incorrectly. <laughs> at least according to Americans. All right. The whole sculpture will use 700, well, 7.15 cubic meters of metal. So 7.15 cubic meters of metal. And our task is to find the angle marked theta, defining the size of the wedge that each bar must have cut out of it. All right. So if you want to give it a try on your own, Go ahead and pause the video because we're going to dive in and do it right now in three, two, one. Here we go. All right. So the first thing that jumped out to me is that in the description, it says that there are 50 of these and it gives us the total for all 50 being 7.15 cubic meters. And I know that we have to find this angle theta. That's the cross sectional angle. So we need to figure out what the volume of just one of them is. So I just took the entire... Uh, material 7.15 meters cubed and divided by the 50 units there are plug that into the calculator and you find that each unit has a volume of 0 0.143 cubic meters so let's tuck that away now the other thing that jumped out at me is that well our units aren't the same so we have to decide are we going to be using meters or centimeters I think the deciding factor is this we are already dealing with volume and so to convert volume from meters to centimeters well we'd have to cube that ratio and everybody always forgets that and since we're looking for an angle these units don't really matter too much as long as they're the same so I think the easiest way is to change centimeters into meters so all you got to do is well you know divide by 100 so 0 0.126 meters is the same as 12.6 centimeters now our units are all the same and all we've got to do is make sure that we conceptually understand what's happening here all right so we got to find the volume of the wedge that's been removed i think the best way to do that is to draw a picture so we're going to have the complete cylinder minus the cut cylinder and what's going to be remaining is the wedge so i use powerpoint to make these so here's my best shot at uh drawing a picture of this situation right here so here's a cylinder that's uncut when it's done this is what's left so what happens is there's a little wedge that's cut out like this and what when that's removed, this diagram, the original diagram, is what we have. So this is the part that's been removed, and this little angle right here is what we're looking for. So I hope that's a strong enough visual for you to have your head, like wrap your head around what's being asked of us here. Let's go ahead and look at our original diagram right here, all right? So the complete cylinder, well, that would be pi r squared h. We know that the cut cylinder, what's remained here is point. 143 cubic meters so we can go ahead and put that there and when we subtract those two what we'll have left is the wedge so plugging in uh, our radius and our length we can just plug those numbers into the calculator and we can find that the volume of the wedge is 0 0.0465 cubic meters all right so now now we know what the volume of the wedge is and now we can set up a formula for finding the volume of the wedge. We know what it equals, so we're looking for the angle theta. Well, this is just a, if we look at this cross section, that cross section is a sector, and a sector is, well, part of a circle. So pi r squared h times the part we have, which is theta over 360, we know that equals to 0 0.0465 cubic meters. Well, let's go ahead and set this up plug in our numbers the units are going to cancel because this is meters this is meters squared so I didn't write them in here because well I don't know why I guess I was being a little lazy but those units are going to delete they're going to cancel each other out and we're just going to be left with theta in degrees all right so we've got theta over 360 let's go ahead and solve for theta divide both sides by all of this and multiply by 360 and 
here's what we got. Point 88.4 degrees. That's without rounding earlier. Or depending on how you use your calculator, you could round correctly and still get 88.3. So it depends on how clean you are with your calculator. Most likely both of those answers for this question would be awarded full credit as long as work was shown. Anyway, I think that was a really cool problem. The geometry is pretty tight in here you got to understand sectors you got to understand how all that works and you have to understand compound or composite parts composite shapes and those can be kind of slippery slopes so i think they're worth practicing hope this was useful for you and that you have a better understanding of how the geometry works and until next time i hope you have a great day